I want to address something because I came out with a series of TikToks where I played the game Ice Cool from Brain Games, um, and I made a lot of cool trick shots, and people kept insinuating, oh, I must be really, really good at this game. And I insisted that, no, it wasn't that I was super good at it, it's that I have the magic of video editing, so I could work for hours and make these cool trick shots, but really I'm just editing hours worth of content into about 30, a 30 second span. So I, I constantly defended the fact that I wasn't very good at it. Um, really, I'm quite bad at high school and most dexterity games in general. So, um, but I felt I needed to make the record straight now and, and just sort of own it that yeah, if you play me at ice school and you beat me, I probably let you win. You know what, we're gonna go ahead and extend that to all games. If you beat me at any game, regardless of what it is, I let you win. All right, mom? Iron Forest is a two to four player dexterity game published by Brain Games with art by Renus Peterson and designed by Brian Gomez. Iron Forest pits two teams against one another in one of several possible scenarios, each with a team specific objective. The Animal Clan and the Iron Forest represent two warring factions fighting over territory. Their goals are accomplished by flicking, sliding, and launching bottom weighted pieces across a multi leveled board. When a team takes a turn, they flip a card revealing which of their four mechs becomes the active one. This piece is then flicked around the board or launched using the included launcher. Then a player may play a power-up card. These cards can be earned by knocking out the opposing team's mechs. And knocking out a mech is simply by bumping into them twice. And after doing so, you get one of those power-up cards that you can then use in future turns. When a mech is knocked out, it's removed from the board until the corresponding team flips their activation card again. Each team alternates taking two turns attempting to compete their team's scenario-specific goal. And these goals range from moving through a specific doorway similar to ice cool, bumping into opponents, um, or capturing territory and making specific shots. And once the objective is complete on one team, they win. If we're going to be talking about Iron Forest, the fact of the matter is that we're going to be talking about Ice Cool as well. It's going to draw comparisons, so much so that Iron Forest has the Ice Cool name right on the box, Ice Cool Universe. So I'm led to believe there's going to be more games in this universe, which is cool. These games are simple, massively popular games. Now, the bottom segment of Iron Forest is essentially a game of Ice Cool. And the components you'll notice are extremely similar. Only instead of cute little penguins, we have cool mechs. And so therein lies the juxtaposition. And so what do we get in the trade-off? Instead of a standard pat, every game is the same type of situation, Iron Forest takes these uh, scenario situations and they give you a whole bunch in the box and you can decide what the goal is for your team every time you play. And with the scenarios you give you're given what isn't exactly a campaign mode, thankfully, uh, but options on how you want to play. It's more reminiscent of a video game where you choose which level you want to play and there's different objectives for each specific one. And there's asymmetric objectives for a number of these um, scenarios. Now you can play games that are very similar to Ice Cool, but you're going to lather on the extra goodness that comes with Iron Forest. And so the question is, is the complexity that's added worth it. Ice Cool may be enough for you, it may be enough for a lot of people, but the undeniable fact is this is this is rad. There is a loss of agency in the game and that plays well to two factors. With that loss of agency and what I mean is uh, you don't choose which of your pieces you're going to flick on a specific turn. You flip a card and it dictates which mech you have to choose. Now that plays well into a strategic gamer's mentality, at least for me, because all of a sudden I have to be very purposeful in which action I choose to take, depending on the objective. Do I want to get away from someone, run from someone, uh, or do I want to attack directly? And that, that depends very much on which mechs are in play and what potentially could come up in future rounds. Now, there's that strategic element, but with it being on rails, one of the concerns that I had, and I know a number of other people have had, is will this work well with younger players? Because Ice Cool is a fantastic game for younger players. Well, I'm glad to report that I have a five and six year old that absolutely love playing Iron Forest. Now, they don't get all the nuances. They don't quite grasp the exact nature of the uh, power-up cards, but giving, given very clear directions on what the objectives are, and I say, hey, look, this is what you're trying to do. This is the piece you need to flick at the, on this turn. And they do it. And we've played three times with the uh, five and six year old and they have loved it every single time. What we're looking at today is completely a prototype. It's a, it's a handmade labor of love. Um, and with that, the, it, it's a bit finicky to set up. And that is my biggest concern with 
a non-finished product. And I'm hoping that through the course of the Kickstarter campaign, the feedback that Brain Games receives, uh, they make this easy to be able to set up in a snap. Once it's up, it's great. Uh, but the thing that really surprised me is, and a, a big component of this game is launching pieces from the ground to this upper level. And that's how they get up there. You don't manually pick up a piece and put it up there. Uh, you use a launcher. Now, I've dealt with a lot of prototypes before. I've never seen a component so technical, as technical as this work as well as this one does. But it does, I mean, my five and six year old have no problem getting the pieces up to the top floor if they want to. Uh, this was a major concern when I saw this. I thought prototypes are finicky, moving components are finicky. How is this going to work? Thankfully, very well. And on top of that, it's super cool and a blast to do. So if the prototype is any indication, what I'd like to see is a little, I'd like to see some polish on it. And obviously I think that's something we're gonna get in a finished product. And finally, with most of these dexterity games, the, the thing is some people are going to be better at this type of game than others. And that may be frustrating to some people. And so my concern also with this was that it looked like a much more complex game. Was this going to last an hour, hour and a half and, and just someone's going to dominate the entire time? Well, thankfully, no, it's it's not that long of a game. Scenarios last maybe 30, 40 minutes and the entire time it's a blast, especially if you're playing in teams, because then you can sort of match up who's on whose team. Uh, yeah, uh, I had a lot of worries with a prototype this technical and a lot of them melted away once I got up and running with it. So, okay, breaking away to pros and cons. If I were to take a look at cons, I'd say the setup is finicky. Again, this is a prototype, so it may not be indicative of what we're going to get in the end. The pieces themselves, they look super cool. There's mechs on here. The problem is there's a lot of variation in how these mechs look and they don't move the exact same way. The penguins and ice cool, I could flick. I knew how every single one of them worked because they all work the same. There's uh, weight differences and flicking the tops of these to make them jump hurts even more than flicking the penguins, which is, um, frankly, pretty shocking. Uh, but there's sharper edges, and so I'd be interested to see how that looks in a finalized prototype. That being said, you can still move it just about the same way. I mean, they they have a lot of the same trajectory as, as the ice school penguins, um, but there's differences in each. And so that may be a con, that may be a pro, depending on how you look at it. Now, pros for this game. This is a justified spinoff. I can look at this and say, yeah, I, I, I would like to play Ice Cool in this situation. I'd like to play Iron Force in this other situation. Both of them are absolute fun games. Uh, and this one um, really surprised me. Another pro, it, it still works with young kids. Like I said, I have a five and six year old and they absolutely adore this game. And we've had a total blast playing around with the prototype. Iron Force is a game that necessitates comparison to another game, which is unfortunate. Uh, but with that necessity comes the conclusion that it is worth it. It's that spin-off that deserves to be printed. It offers a much richer and cooler experience, to be honest, by trading in some of the simplicity and charm of the original game. And so for me, Iron Forts is one that I am extremely excited to see a finalized product of because if the prototype is any indication, it's gonna be pretty rad. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like and follow. There'll be more reviews coming up soon. I, I also have other content on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at Plumpy Thimble. So please follow me there. Thank you so much and have a great day.